Hey gorgeous souls, it's awesome to be here with you today and uh, jumping in, I wanted to do a live video specifically in the group on the four key areas that you will need to address and heal in order to overcome burnout. Uh, and these sometimes can be overlooked. We tend to either focus on the physical um, or tend to focus on maybe the emotional or the mental aspect of burnout. And it's really important to understand these four key areas. And uh, over the coming uh, days and, and weeks, I'll be doing uh, a couple of different videos as well um, on specific on each of these specific areas and going into more depth with those as well. Uh, but for today, today, I just wanted to do a quick video on what those four key areas are and why they're super important. Uh, your first one, and these are in no particular area or order, uh, you may have done particular work um, on one or more of these areas. Um, previously and so wherever you feel that you're lacking most that's certainly the area that I would focus on um, to begin with if it was me um, but the the four key areas first and foremost is your emotional aspect uh, so your emotional body uh, it is your physical body your mental body and your spiritual aspect as well and uh, like I said I'll be going into those in more depth but uh, just to kick off with that uh, from the emotional aspect, often we can have emotions trapped uh, within, a, like on a cellular level within the body. Uh, these can be resulting uh, from traumas, uh, from life experiences, uh, or even from uh, particular events that may have happened. Uh, it can even be, uh, you know, the impact of a physical accident, such as a car accident and things like that, uh, where there is an emotional aspect trapped within the body. But also, it's your emotional body and meaning. At what emotions do you experience every? Every single day are you feeling grateful are you feeling excited about life or are you feeling powerless are you feeling powerless perhaps about how your physical body feels or powerless to change a situation um, or are you perhaps living in anger and resentment because again maybe you feel that uh, you know it's uh, and, and this is where our thoughts and our mental body and healing the mental body definitely helps with the emotional aspect as well because often we can have thoughts like uh, you know uh, there's nobody here I'm all alone alone and whilst our circumstances can be very real and, and be showing us that in that moment when we live there we keep recreating those situations and circumstances and I certainly know how that feels uh, I lived that way uh, pretty much my whole entire life until I was 32 um, and really started to, to understand how I was creating my reality so your emotions are very very important in being able to know skillfully how to change those how to accept those um, and uh, how to move up the emotional violence scale which again will increase your power your energy uh, and also your rapidness of your physical healing uh, your physical body absolutely needs healing uh, and often you know you can have uh, hormones like our estrogen progesterone uh, testosterone yes females actually have testosterone as well it's how we build muscle and maintain a feeling of confidence um, cortisol um, all of these hormones are, are very very important and the particular levels that our body is creating um, of those and in a study um, I read this in uh, your when your body says no um, by Gabor Mate and I would definitely highly recommend uh, reading that book but he spoke about how different events and our emotions can also impact our hormones as well and and uh, that they did testing of testosterone levels uh, between two particular football teams uh, and the victors actually had increased testosterone at the end of uh, the football game and uh, the ones that were defeated actually had lowered testosterone so again you know events and circumstances um, and our emotional how we're emotionally responding to those events absolutely can impact the physical and that's why these are all very very interlinked um, but also it's really hard to feel good it's hard to feel confident if your testosterone is um, uh, low or bottoming out it's hard to maintain muscle mass which is you know a vital part of staying fit and healthy uh, well into our uh, you know older years um, all of those things, if your cortisol levels are constantly high, uh, you know, that is going to be driving inflammation in the body and again is going to be creating a state of disease within the body. Um, also, knowing specifically what 
you know, your uh, vitamins, minerals that your body may be lacking in, or what are the actual ratios, even the ratios of, uh, you know, our magnesium and calcium levels. Um, there's lots of different ratios that really matter and really make a difference. And if they're out, if you've been supplementing, um, perhaps, you know, in one area, but, you know, the ratio is out in another area, again, that causes a whole cascade of different things going on within the body. Uh, so physical body is really, really important, obviously. Um, mental, uh, again, our thoughts are driving, our thoughts are hypnotizing our body into a state of being. Meaning, if I believe that I'm not enough, then I am going to be hypnotizing myself with that thought to feel like rubbish, meaning my emotions drop down, uh, meaning that will also impact uh, my hormone levels, my physical body, my amount of physical energy. Uh, you've only got to think about how you feel um, physically, like a physical energy perspective, when you feel really down on yourself or really bad about yourself or when there's thoughts or feelings, and we all have these, I could put my hands up a million times, uh, you know, of feeling like we're a failure or we're not enough or we didn't do enough or we should have got more done or we're lazy or we're procrastinating or um, it's always up to me, it's always my responsibility. Like all of these thoughts compound into actions, behaviors and how we're creating and how we're perceiving our life. Our beliefs are literally like lenses that we put on that we're looking through life at and experiencing life throughout. Uh, throughout. And if you don't know how to change your beliefs, if you don't know how to change your thoughts, then that again creates this whole cascade of emotions and everything else that's going on so having that skill is absolutely critical to overcoming burnout and lastly is the spiritual connection having that uh, connection with your higher self with the part of you that knows um, absolutely unconditionally that you are lovable you are whole and you are complete and if you don't have constant connection with that um, or day-to-day -day connection meaning you're checking in uh, you feel this sense of connection with something larger than yourself again we can often feel alone we can feel separate from we can feel isolated um, we can feel that we're not enough or that we don't have enough enough. Um, so having a, a strong, uh, and I'm not here to, you know, advocate a particular spiritual belief or anything else. That's, you know, that's totally up to you. But having that sense of faith in something larger than yourself. Uh, and often this, I kind of call, you know, if you don't relate to spirituality, this is your connection to your own sense of self-love um, to, uh, you know, and even if people don't believe in a higher power, they, they can logically go, oh, I know that at times I show up as a better version of myself this is what we're really getting you in connection with and it's not to say that you're not enough uh, when you're not feeling that um, but it's connecting you it's the beliefs and the thoughts and all those feelings and the physical energy that's holding you back from feeling completely connected with that larger part of you, with the real truth and essence of who you are. And of course, there's lots of other different aspects that go into this. Uh, it also helps with true authenticity because again, if we're not feeling that we're able to be authentic in our life, it takes so much energy to hold up that mask or to do the things that we believe that we have to in order to fit in, belong and be accepted as opposed to actually just fully feel like we can truly be ourselves, And that often is one of the deeper causes of birth. Burnout. And of course, unhealed trauma um, can go into that as well, because again, it affects the emotional, the physical, uh, the spiritual and the mental bodies as well. So I hope that's been helpful for you. Please reach out or send me a message if you've got any other questions. And of course, we go into massive depth with all of these uh, in my Thrive program. If you'd like to find out more um, to be able to move through burnout faster uh, and uh, more effectively, and also get the skills and the knowledge that will keep you out of burnout for life, then uh, please send me a message and let's book in a time to chat uh, and see if and how I might be able to help you and see if and how you know uh, the program may or may not be uh, a great fit for you. So have an amazing day. Looking forward to speaking with you soon. Bye for now.